Good morning game developers! Unless you've been living under the rock past two years, the AI right now is everywhere, even in your fridge. AI will learn you how to write the essay, cook the steak, or even learn your cat how to use Excel. But today we're testing something else. If AI in 2025 can create whole game by itself, I will pretend that I know nothing about the game there, just clueless beginner. Will we make something cool or it will be another AI fail? Let's check! So I started with a simple prompt. Hey ChatGPT, I'm thinking of starting a small indie game project, just for fun. Can you help me come up with the cool idea to begin with? And I need to say, in this moment I was a little bit disappointed because I received five idea of the game, however, most of them was unrealistic to make as the beginner, so I make a second prompt. Before we dive in, consider subscribing or leaving a comment to help support what I'm doing here. It means a lot and keep the project moving. And now we received something beautiful. Five ideas, very simple, genre like arcade, top down time management, 2D cleanup game, and puzzle. I choose Package Panic, perfect name for the game. So in the third prompt, I asked ChatGPT to create me this game. However, once again, I highlighted that I'm new in that and I need step-by-step -step instruction. ChatGPT instruction were super clear from Donald Unity to building the scene. We set up player, floor, packages, drop zone, material, even UI text and basic movement code. There was only one problem, it's give exact position for the player and the package, but forget to mention the floor should also be at zero. In this moment I decided to fix the problem with the camera and with the object under the ground. And as I expected, it fixed object position and the camera view, now everything is visible and clear. And the best part, now I can walk up, press E to pick a package and drop in the green zone. Here I decide to little bit try to break this game. At first everything worked. I could pick up and drop the package. But when I drop it, it's just flowing in the air. I told this to the chat GPT and he suggested adding reaching body and updating the scripts. Now it falls to the ground like it should. And if drop in the zone, it disappear. Here I pointed to the chat that some story is required for this game. And we need to take care of it. Started with the just one package, then ChatGPT turned it into a full delivery loop. Chat also added a short intro story to the UI, but forgot to clean up the old text, so the screen go messy. Now with the random spout, it's finally feel like a real game, and there is room to expand the story to. And I've been waiting for this moment. First error. Let's check how ChatGPT resolved this problem. I will explain. The first package worked fine. But when the second one spawned, the game broke. To now the script was still trying to use the old destroyed package. ChatGPT fixed it by making the player grab the nearest one instead. Quick update, I decided to add few free assets from the Unity Asset Store to make this game feel more alive. Good call in the end. While placing the new asset, I notified the camera was way too low. With taller props, you could barely see the gameplay. So I asked ChatGPT how to fix the angle. Now it look much better. In this point, I decided to up a little bit our game. First, clean UI. Second, scores. The text message, bot 13 online, was still showing while the new story text appeared. ChatGPT helped me fix it by either hiding the old one after the few seconds or combining both into the single text box. And the second, I want the track deliverers. So we add a score system each time I deliver package, the counter goes up. This was the time to make this more exciting. Enemies. ChatGPT suggested to add enemy that slowly hunts the player around the warehouse. It if touch you while you carrying the package, boom, it's gone and instantly respawn. So now it's not just about deliveries, it's about staying safe too. Quick update here, the system I mentioned in the last prompt is working now, however required additional 5 prompts 
there are a lot of missing stuff like uh, rigid bodies or colliders. And now the game looks like this. To avoid dragging things up, I start asking ChatGPT tougher questions like Can enemy rotate to face you during the chasing? Can we make main menu? Can we make small delay after we deliver package the dropping zone? So yeah, turns out that ChatGPT is the great tool to provide us many ideas and fail to expand this project. And this is an important part. Please remember this is only tool which can help you in your way. ChatGPT is only tool, not replacement of the learning. But you never want to just copy and paste anything. Every time you got answer from the ChatGPT, ask the question, why you are doing like that? What this give me? What can I learn from that? And how can I use that in my another project? Because at end of the day, AI won't make the game for you. Thank you for the watching to the end. If you have any question regarding game dev, please ask in the comment. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Just for your information, currently I'm building my own game. And I'm documenting the whole journey in devlogs episode. You will see the progress, the problems and how I solve them step by step. So if you are curious how it all comes together, follow along. Got questions? Drop them in the comment. I would love to help. Thanks for sticking around till the end. And I will see you in the next dev episode.